over 80 years now, there has been a place in Miami that has touched the lives of thousands of people who are blind or visually impaired and has helped them see the light. A place that takes away the fear that comes with the darkness and gives hope and encouragement. That place is Miami Lighthouse for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Miami Lighthouse has a history that goes back almost as long as Miami has existed. In 1931, two pioneers, Dolly Gamble, under the influence of Helen Keller, created the Miami Lighthouse for the Blind. And it was a little bungalow house right here at the same location. But that bungalow house has grown. Indeed, it has grown into a beautiful, modern, four-story building. The Lighthouse has always been known for innovation and for programs that help the blind and visually impaired live better, more complete lives, and helps them manage the challenges that come with everyday living. One of my prime positions here at the Lighthouse is to find jobs and provide good uh, research tools to help our participants uh, be able to locate jobs via the internet, to teach them good uh, interviewing techniques that would give them good skills to hopefully land a job and make an impact. Dr. Bascom Palmer, who was an ophthalmologist here in Miami in the early uh, 1920s and 30s, uh, was quite interested in developing vision care programs in Miami. He also requested that monies be set aside and land be given to create an eye clinic. This eye clinic became the Bascom Palmer Eye Institute. And it was his vision to make this eye clinic and the Miami Lighthouse second to none. The uh, aging population presents a challenge in terms of vision loss. These patients oftentimes don't have any ways to improve their condition with medicines or surgery and all we can offer them are services that will rehabilitate them so that they can maximize the use of the vision that they still have. Blind babies and toddlers are helped in so many ways at the Lighthouse, helping them develop their abilities and prepare for a productive future. This is such a key age where they learn to grip, they learn to eat well, they, they learn uh, motor skills and, and uh, just basically to interact with other people. This to me was a one-stop shop with incredibly capable and compassionate people that love their job and uh, it was uh, just a wonder to see. Programs for children help blind kids have fun, enjoy new experiences and learn new skills all at the same time. Braille literacy is a vital skill and it is taught and mastered at Miami Lighthouse. Hi. I'm Jose Feliciano and I'm here at the Miami Lighthouse where students are learning to read and write Braille. For me, I was born blind so Braille meant a lot because it was a way that I could educate myself and read books. Just in the last 10 years, the number of people we serve has increased 20-fold and it ranges from mothers of our blind babies and babies in our program school-age children needing to learn their Braille so they can pass the FCAT reading comprehension, learn about technology, teenagers getting them ready for the workforce and higher education. With our aging population of baby boomers, challenges related to low vision are on the rise, and Miami Lighthouse is right there with programs and solutions. Here at the Low Vision Center of Excellence at the Miami Lighthouse, we provide low vision evaluations for patients that have difficulty with their daily living activities. At the Lighthouse here, we see patients from the age of four until the age of 107. Many patients after a low vision evaluation regain their independence and confidence and live more safely in their environment. Miami Lighthouse programs are reaching out to seniors with in-home services and mobile eye clinics. Through our Hike and Children's Vision program, nearly 10,000 needy children receive a comprehensive eye exam and glasses each year. 
children and adults take advantage of Miami Lighthouse's music program that has produced its own CDs and has enabled students to go on and study at world-famous music colleges. I went to Berkeley College of Music in uh, Boston. Blind Services got me mobility lessons here at the Lighthouse. I knew a lot of things that perhaps had I not come to the Lighthouse I wouldn't have known. When you've been in a place since you were five years old, it's like home. So watching, going back home and watching it grow, watching it become bigger and better all the time is amazing. Stand up for love. No wonder Miami Lighthouse has been named a National Center of Excellence and has been recognized by so many in this community and across the U.S. for its vital role, for its scholarships, and the new internship program that offers practical experience for students working towards certifications as orientation and mobility specialists, and so much more. It's been tremendous change over the years, uh, expansion of the facility, expansion of services, the kind of people we serve, the blind babies, the music program, more seniors, large amount of change but the one thing that's always been there is, is the, the caring that our clients get, is the attitude of the staff, it's how people are treated, it's how they get self-respect back, how they feel about being back in society, being able to move and to cook and to shop and all those things that they couldn't do when they first lost their sight. So for 83 years, our community has been very generous. And that's how we're able to not cap enrollments, how we're able to grow and transform the lives of people of all ages. And I hope that the community for the next 80 years will be equally as generous. The Lighthouse touches lives, provides hope, confidence, and independence. It's the bright light for so many blind and visually impaired people who call Miami home. Miami Lighthouse for the Blind and Visually Impaired. See the light. Hey.